Hello, my doll BFFs. Welcome to our channel, Nene and Sophia. I really appreciate you taking some time and coming and hanging out with me on this Sunday evening. Um, I got some of the Wicked dolls, and I'm just really excited to get those open. Um, and I'm excited to go see the movie. I've never seen the musical. I was always a big Wizard of Oz fan when I was um, little. And back in those days, you would have to wait maybe like it might come on TV once a year. So, you know, that was every year I would run in the house and make sure I could see it. And I'm sure when I was little, I even watched it in black and white and missed all that beautiful color when they <laughs> landed in Oz. But, you know, when you only have black and white, you don't know the difference anyway. Um but yeah, I've been taking my grandkids to the to the movies and we keep seeing all of the trailers for this movie. So I'm very excited. It looks um like it looks fabulous. And these dolls look fabulous too. Um and I apologize if I'm not pronouncing these right. Like I said, I've never seen a musical or anything. Um this first one uh Nessa Rose. Um I think maybe um sh the packaging these colors are so pretty with the pinks and the greens um if you watch my froggy stuff she made a beautiful background now i'm sure if i tried it, it won't look the same <laughs> but it, it would really be a pretty background for these dolls um so if you want to check out some of her videos she's got a really pretty background for that but um I just thought she had such a pretty face. I don't know anything about her character in the movie, but her face and even her wheelchair was so intricate. And um, her, you know, I just, I think it's all printed on, but I just thought the dress was pretty and just her face was gorgeous. And so I knew I wanted her. And then we have... Elfaba, I guess our Wicked Witch of the West here, who's all green, but her face is gorgeous. Um, and so I was really excited to see her. Now there's like a deluxe model. And looking at it, you know, it was maybe, it might be like $10, $15 more. But I, I don't know. I mean, I felt like this one, I guess she doesn't come with a broom. But her hand is made so that she can hold one. And um, I just thought she was really pretty, too. So I went went with these. Um, I ordered all of these on Walmart.com. Um, and they do have um, a deluxe of Glinda as well with the fuller dress. And I believe there's a Glinda that sings. Um, that is a... I don't, I don't even know if she's much more... But I thought this dress was prettier than the singing Glinda. But, you know, that's just my opinion. So, um, looking at the um, boxes, it says a little bit about the character on the back. And I didn't know if any of this could be reused. I'll probably tear it all up trying to, trying to get the boxes open. Um, but it says Glinda is kind-hearted. Privileged Glinda might be, is it Shiz? is university's most popular student but on but an unlikely friendship helps her realize the power of her goodness and Elphaba is a defiant social outcast with untapped magic Elphaba enrolls at Shiz University discovers the potential of her true power and this Ness Rose. Um, overshadowed by the arrival of her magically powered sister, Alfaba. Oh, well, there we go. Nessa Rose quietly poses her own brand of inner fierceness. So that's her sister. Okay, so now I know. Okay, well, let's get these out of the box. They do have, it, it appears that they have a little bit, a couple of accessories with them. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so I got Elfaba out first, and the package, 
they are it is pretty this packaging if i could salvage some of that and maybe um, use it in a diorama or something that would be really pretty so i just don't have room i save some of this stuff and it sits around and then i don't have time and then i end up throwing it away i don't know if you guys are like that or not but um, i just don't have anywhere really <laughs> to store it i was cleaning in the in here today in the doll room trying to make some more room for some of these new dolls so um here is alfaba she is has such a pretty face if i'm getting that look how pretty and kind of a smirk on her face um, she has these little painted baby curls and she has braids that are a really deep dark brown um, I just think her face is beautiful and her dress is really pretty too it has um, it has this a lace bodice um, with purple underlay and lace sleeves. And there's a little printed, I don't know, like there's supposed to be little beads or something there. But the bottom also has like designs in it. And it almost looks snake-like or little twirlies down here on the bottom that also continues all the way around. Um, it Velcro's at the top. And then she has these boots. I did slip her her boot off, and she has big feet. Um, kind of reminds you of more of like Monster High or Illy Forever or something like that. So I don't think that these, her shoes, I don't know if they'd stay on a Barbie's foot or not, um, but that they're interchangeable. I'm sure she can't fit in the, Bet she can fit in Barbie's clothes, but probably not in her shoes because her her boots are a lot bigger. Um, and she does come with come with her hat. Oh my goodness, isn't she neat? And like I don't know if this is like her school bag. Um, like I said, I like to get her a broom. Because this hand does is made um, to hold things, okay? So it has some articulation and a lot of detail, I feel like, in her hands. Um, she can move her wrist. She has articulation at her elbows. I think I have it twisted around there. There you go. Her head moves. Um, she does not have articulation in her waist, but she does have it in her... She has a lot of movement in her hips and articulation in her knees. So a lot of movement there and just very, very pretty. Um, I wasn't going to, but they had her and I guess it must be her professor, teacher, um, on Mattel Creations. And the teacher was so pretty, I was like, mm, I'm not going to get another one, but... I ended up getting another one. Okay, let's take a look at her sister, Nessa Rose, next. Okay, here she is. Look how beautiful. Very pretty face, like a neutral lip. She has brown eyes. She has a little dimple over on this side. Isn't that pretty? And um, shiny, dark brown hair with a lot of curls in it. It's very soft. Um, one of uh, the people that I follow on Instagram had customized her and had mentioned that her hair was really soft. And she had um, done some twists with her hair. I think I nicked it a little bit back here trying to get those silly plastic pieces out. Um, but really she wasn't that bad to get out it's just always these ones right on the back of their head that i struggle so with she's articulated in the same places at she has movement in her head and shoulders and elbows and wrists um and her hips and knees she this i i so wish some of these and maybe not all of it but some of these details would have been actually sewn on to the dress 
um, they're printed on, but the, the fabric is substantial. I mean, it has a nice heavy feel to it, and there is a different texture here on the poof of her sleeve. This hand also can hold things, and even, I don't know, like I said, there's like detail in their hand. Like you can even see, I don't know if that's too close, but I want to say like veining or like the, the bone in, in her hand. It has such detail. Um, this dress does Velcro in the back, and then... Sorry, folks, I ran out of battery. Um, I was <laughs> I was starting to say about her shoes. Um, again, she has bigger feet, and I don't know if these have bent a little bit, but um, like a silver sparkly heel with some little socks. I, I love those little socks. And her wheelchair is just uh, very beautiful. Um, I don't remember if she, I feel like she might have been on, I don't know if she was more for her, because she had all this of her packaging, of course, had to be bigger, but I don't remember paying a lot more for her. Um, these little pieces here move to lock, lock it in place. Um, and this goes up and down and it really does roll. Um, but like I said, it's just uh, so pretty with the painted details and the gold on it and the, the little ornamentations and things like that. Just really pretty. Um, so, yeah, I just think she's just, just gorgeous. She has such a pretty face. Okay, so our last one that we're going to take a look at today is Glinda. Okay, and we have Glinda. I just think that they're... Um, their faces are so pretty and so well done. Um, she has like a light pink eyeshadow and brown eyes and kind of a neutral toned peach, maybe um, lip gloss. And she also has a little dimple over here and like a little subtle smile. Um, she has super soft hair. Um, these dolls have very nice quality hair, very silky, um, soft to the touch. And see, there's a little piece there. I hope that wasn't, I don't think that was me. I don't think I got any of the hair this time. These little Brits, I think are very, very cute. I mean, it's a little smushed down here on the bottom, but really soft, um, not stiff or have a lot of product same articulation. Um, she's got a little bit of chiffon going down the middle of her dress and some painted detail that, um, you know, she has a little bit of this, I don't know, tie dye blushing or whatever on the back. And, um, the hems, these little layers here, there isn't a hem on those. Those are whatever that, however they do that, that laser cutting or whatever. Um, but I thought it was a cute little cute little outfit, a cute little dress. She's got heels that are pink and they kind of go into like a yellow, like an ombre look. Um, but yeah, just, um, I think that these are, I think they were about 25 each and, um, just really cute. Oh, she came with this little, this little purse. Um, it doesn't open or anything. Um, it's got some little flowers on it and her hands, see their hands can't hold things. And then she has this little plastic uh, flower necklace on. So she had a couple accessories with her too and her little brits in her hair. So um, I'm, I'm happy that I got these. Um, I think that they're just really pretty and um, will uh, be a nice collector's item. And I just can't get over her face. It's just so, so pretty. So, um, that's all I have for this evening. Um, thank you so much for sticking with me and looking at these dolls with me. I have several things I really need uh, to get out of the box. And so, 
I just, through the week, I just have a hard time, um, you know, by the time you get home, um, I feel like you're almost getting ready for the next day and I have a hard time having time to come and enjoy my doll room. So I want to get some of these things open. I want to get them on the shelf and really be able to come in here and not feel like I have to come in here and organize and clean all the time, but come in here and really enjoy my dolls and enjoy, you know, changing their clothes or, you know, kind of fixing up their hair and doing those kinds of things. Um, so like I said, thank you so much for being with me. Um, you can also, and I'll be taking some photographs of these gals, I'm sure, and posting them on Instagram at nene underscore Sophia. Um, I hope to get a couple more videos out this week. Um, but if you would please uh, give me a like and press that subscribe button, I would really, really appreciate it. Um, and remember that no matter how many trips you've taken around the sun, always take time to play and have some fun. And until next time, this has been Nene. See ya.